Hello and welcome to today's After Effects quick tip. Today I'm going to show you one quick tip in Adobe After Effects. And today I am going to show you what you can do with your keyframes in order to make them look more natural. I'm just going to make a new composition right here. And we are going to make a uh, transition effect using circles. And we just put ourselves a circle in the center of our composition. Let's just put on the brightness and say tunnel grid. Okay. Touchpad only isn't the best decision. Now it's in the center. And we don't want it to have any strokes, so we going to put that down and it should be filled with I don't know some grayish color I don't know something dark gray something like that okay now we're going to duplicate this layer going to rename both of them so we can hold them apart from another uh, the foreground is going to get a lighter color Now we're going to uh, animate both of them with the scale tag. Um, they're going to start at zero pixels. And I don't know, after 20 pixels, this one is pretty big, something like this. And this one is something like this right here. And somewhere around here, this is completely off the screen. and this one as well. Good. Now select all the frames and press F9 to make all these keyframes easy. Then go to the graph editor to see what they are looking like in the moment. Um, you can use these grabbers if you like to uh, transform the uh, animation. Uh, I'm going to leave this standard and we're going to turn on the motion blur and we have ourselves a little nice custom transition. Let's have a look at this pre-rendered. Yeah. And this is what your transition will look like. It's pretty damn great. Um, yeah, you can just use this to put it above two videos and uh, yeah, use this as a transition. Bloop. Then turn down opacity, I don't know, somewhere over here. Press T for opacity, make a keyframe, and say somewhere over there it's gone to zero. Oops. And that's it. Boom. I'm just going to import two videos in order to show you what it looks like. Just going to pre compose this right quick and uh, let's say transition. All right, and the transition ends somewhere around here. And this is now our transition. I usually prefer to give those all colors. Our transitions are usually purple or something, but um, I know what am I talking about? They're pink. Um, and these two video files I'm just going to add. I don't know why I just found them. And now we're going to make a transition for them. Go right into the middle where the transition should end. And now we're just going to RAM preview this and see what it looks like. Could take a second. And yeah, there's our transition right here. See, and now the circle's open, and boom, transition. Well, this is a pretty easy method to use easy ease on keyframes. Um, you also got a transition in less than five minutes, I guess, seven minutes. And that's it for today's After Effects quick tip. In the next episode, I'll be talking about motion tracking. Let's see us. Bye.